Welcome back, Maurice and Kristen here. We talked about the beautiful day. Mm -hmm. You know what, we're talking about how more and more people also are getting vaccinated. And with that, people are starting to make plans to travel again, Kristen. Yes, they are. You know, some of you may want to start close to home. And if you do, you might consider Herman. As I found out in a recent visit, this beautiful river town is about so much more than just Oktoberfest. Herman has been voted the most beautiful town by several magazines throughout the state. So we're the most beautiful town in Missouri. And if you come, you'll see why. About 80 miles west of St. Louis, along the banks of the Missouri River, lies this small town bursting with German heritage. Herman was actually founded in 1837. It reminded them of their home back in Germany with the beautiful rolling hills, the river, and, and the great countryside. The German heritage is reflected in its cuisine. They love their beer and brats. We make in-house 45 flavors of bratwurst, 12 flavors of bacon, 10 flavors of summer sausage, seven flavors of craft beer. This three-time Hall of Famer Wurstmeister produces world-class bratwurst and sausage. We also have available barbecue aisles for folks who don't want to go to the German side. We got the American side. Pit smoked brisket, pulled pork, barbecue ribs, baby back ribs, pork steaks, and pork burgers. While Mike has won numerous awards, he's won gold multiple times at the most prestigious sausage competition in the world, held in Frankfurt, Germany. Here at the Worst House, you can enjoy the best of the worst. Herman is definitely put on the map because of our wineries, even pre-prohibition. But now we are so excited. We also have distilleries that are popping up. Cheers. Virtual cheers. cheers. We visited the tasting room of the Blackshire Distillery, which is right in downtown. They produce vodka, gin, whiskey, and brandy. If you're familiar with the Blackshire horses, it pays homage to those Blackshire horses that are actually out at the Herman Farm, where the actual distillery is. The bartender showed us how to make one of their specialties, the smoked pineapple and cardamom old-fashioned. It's really good. Another of many options, their blackberry lemonade. Just a short walk away, you'll find the Tin Mill, the only craft brewery in town. It's located in a historic grain processing plant right in downtown. On offer, you'll find traditional German beers, all made in-house. There are 20 beers on tap with an ever-changing lineup. I was able to taste the Midnight Whistle. It's good. But ordering a flight also looks like a great way to sample. There are 11 wineries in the Herman area. This is Stonehill Winery, established in 1847. It's the oldest winery in the state of Missouri, and at one time was the second largest wine producer in the United States. The wines made here have won a lot of awards. They've even won medals at seven World's Fairs. Coming here for a wine tasting is a popular activity. I liked the Golden Rhine. That is excellent. I think I know where I'm bringing my husband on our next trip. There is also a restaurant on site, and live music is performed on the hill during the warmer months. So this is the entrance to the cellar? Wow. Your visit isn't complete until you head underground to see the largest series of cellars in the U.S. They took seven years to hand dig. When the pandemic is over, tours of the cellars will resume. If adult beverages aren't quite your thing, how about some history? We have a new caboose museum. I have a mini museum on 2nd Street myself with fire memorabilia. And of course, we have the Herman Fire Company Museum that we're in there right now. Everything you see here is Herman firefighting equipment that previous generations held on to. These items were stored away in barns for a long time. And now, years later, Herman is fortunate enough to be able to show it off. This here is the consequence. This is a handmade pumper here in Herman. It was built in 1856. It's an irreplaceable piece of our history of Herman. Check out the intricate detailing on this piece, like this little bird underneath. There's plenty here for you shoppers as well. There's over 30 shops with leather shops and the toy shops, chocolate shops. We got all kinds of shops, boutiques and antiques. 
Herman is an easy drive from St. Louis. Or you can ditch your car, take the Amtrak. The train drops you off right in downtown, which is small enough to be walkable. If you're a little more adventurous, you could bike or hike into Herman on the Katy Trail. The trail passes right through the northern part of Herman. However you choose to arrive, you won't have any trouble finding a place to stay. This is the Herman Crown Suites. It's one of our boutique hotels here in town. We have over 140 lodging establishments in town. If you'd like to get some exercise or just a bit more into nature, head 10 miles west. Here you'll find the Grand Bluffs Conservation Area, which features a two-mile out-and-back trail. This steep hike leads to a scenic overlook deck atop 300-foot-high Dolomite Bluffs, providing spectacular views of the Missouri River. It's accessible year-round. Take advantage of all of the wineries, the breweries, distilleries, our wonderful restaurants, our shops, and then the great hiking and biking that we have all around our city. In Herman, Kristen Cornett, News 4. I have to admit, I had never been to Herman before, so when I was given this opportunity to do these pieces, it was one of the first places I was like, got to go there, right? Yeah. And it did not disappoint. We're actually going to be doing these segments every Saturday morning, so be sure to check in. Uh, next week, we're going to take you to the Great River Road. That place has is so much character. Yeah, it was so much fun. Such a great spot to visit. If you haven't been like I hadn't, what are you waiting on? <laughs> well, we're going to be looking forward to seeing yeah. every one of these pieces from now on. And now people have some folk places to go. Exactly. Trying to break out of the pandemic, mm -hmm. hit the road. All right. Thanks a lot, Kristen.